Sinatra, the new show Legend of the Seeker is a fantasy tale about to hit the small screen. From magic to mystery, Saturday nights just got a whole lot better, and the stars of the new series are here live to tell us all about it. My best friends, uh, Craig Horner and Bridget Regan, who I hung with in New Zealand. And it's so you nice did. To, and you know, it's funny because I, you can't tell at home. Physically, for some reason, the way these couches sit, we're like, I was closer to you in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. When you were in New Zealand, <laughs> it's like you can't even... I'm a little disappointed you're not wearing what you were wearing. In Did you like that? Oh, <laughs> no, I like the open chest. You were really rocking it, man. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> uh, let, let me, here's the thing that I think is so interesting, and very much in a personal way. You're from Southern California. You grew up in Carlsbad, yes. San Diego. You're going to go see your folks. You haven't seen them since when? Uh, I, you know, I haven't seen them in six months. My mom came to visit me in New Zealand, but, you know, get to see my sis and everybody. So. And so this whole experience of being kind of locked away in New Zealand, and you come, you've done uh, The View, My Gosh, Regis and Kelly, all these great shows, so what's it been like now to reconnect with people you've been away with, away from for so long? Oh, I mean, it's been, they're, they're pretty excited about the show and, you know, everything. And it's, it's been quite bizarre because you leave and you come back and you're in a show about magic and <laughs> wizards. And, you know, everybody's going, what? what are you doing? <laughs> you know? But it's great. It's awesome. One thing that a lot of performers have said to me is that having an acting job is like this tremendous passport. And, I mean, it's true for you. you you've never been to New York before? Yeah, I, I'd never been to New York. And I went three days ago for the first time ever. And I was blown away. I knew he would be. Oh, yeah. knew I knew it. I was like, you're going to fall in love. Yeah. And he yeah. did. I only had, because we're doing this big uh, kind of, you know, junket, publicity right. junket. I only had like a couple of hours in between here and there. So I would just like hit Manhattan and just walk the streets, you know, peak hour and just be like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 you know. I was just Your neck hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. So this city yeah. never ends. And, yeah. and, and as you're walking the streets there or here, the billboard is everywhere, the bus boards are everywhere. When you look at that, is that you? Do you know what I mean? Do you think? It's kind of, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so happy that people are excited about the show and, you know, we'll watch and that they're getting the word out about it. So I'm pretty stoked whenever I see it. And for the uneducated, although we've, we've had some great discussions about it here, now, you are Richard, who was just like a regular guy. Regular Joe. And suddenly, Kaylin comes along. Yeah. And sort of informs you that you are actually... Uh, I'm more than a regular Joe, exactly. I don't really know what I am. I, I get told on this uh, seeker. And uh, Bridget's character, Kaylin, is from this land of magic, which uh, I'm not too sure about. But uh, she's going to take me there, and she's going to show me what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Well, conveniently enough, uh, the kids have brought a clip all the way from New Zealand. Premieres this Saturday. Take a look. I knew I had to find you. Dark and Rawl has the power to speak to the dead. Maybe he was using the spirits to trap us, to stop us from doing what we have to. We can't let him. You stay with Zed. I'll find Fane. And the book. And I'll come back for you. You can't go alone. It's too dangerous. My destiny. My decision. Hope does have a new warrior. Yay. Kiss her. Why aren't you kissing her? What is your problem? I know. Why, right? Yeah. Why? <laughs> we'll Gotta see. wait for that. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> And, and, and I guess maybe now it's even, we talked about it there, a better opportunity for the sort of comparison and contrast. Because now you're back here. You've, you've come back to your old life for yeah, at least a week. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I, the thing is, I miss it, but um, so much has changed in my life since I've moved and gone to do the show. Mm -hmm. And um, we have so much more to do. We're actually, when we go back, we'll start filming episode 10. Yeah. And we have 22 picked up already, you know, for this season. So it's like we still have so much more to do. And we don't really know where our characters are going. No, I mean, we have an idea because we know the book right, yeah. and we know what happens in the book, but they're taking some new um, storylines and adventures and things. So I'm pretty amped to go back to work and see what's next. The first time I've seen Bridget without a corset. <laughs> yeah, right? Wow. <laughs> She's loving it. She uh, actually this do this. week is like, you know. <laughs> I can move. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, Craig and Bridget again, the two hour Legend of the Secret premiere uh, at Saturday night, November 1st at 6 o'clock, right here on uh, KTLA and all across the country as well. Lots of great stuff online, by the way. And another Seeker story. We meet your co-stars tomorrow. Nice. Here. And I, do you guys, uh, Michaela and Jess, can you tell I'm angling for a trip back to New Zealand?